when I was a student. I always had a question running through my mind. I went on to Google and I searched the richest people in the world. And you see people like Steve Jobs, Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg. But none of these people are doctors or lawyers or went down that traditional route of getting a degree, earning excellent grades, or doing a good job. That is when I started questioning things. Because I thought that if you go to school and get a good degree, you can make a lot of money. Your grades. Your income. Society has rules. And the first rule is, you go to college. You want to have a happy and successful life? You go to college. If you want to be somebody, you go to college. If you want to fit in, you go to college. Did you get straight A's in school? If so, good for you, congratulations. But in the real world, you'll never get straight A's again. So you come out of school scared to death of making a mistake. You do everything on your own. You don't cooperate. There's no synergy. There's no brainstorming. And there's only one right answer. Everybody wants to get the right answer. There's no one right answer. Imagine for a moment young people graduating from school with excellent scores, but not knowing the first thing about coping with reality. What if they couldn't communicate effectively or couldn't handle money issues and were always in debt? Teachers, do you think your students are ready to face the modern and always changing world? Do you think they can survive on their own? Do you think the present education system is teaching kids how to cope with self-deprecating thoughts? Preparing them for the real world does it seem to be going through endless hours of tuitions, staying up all night memorizing useless facts that they will forget very soon. Where is the disconnect? It's time to solve that mystery. A question. Why do kids have to go to school? We send our children to school to prepare them for the real world, which is changing very, very fast. But our schools haven't changed much for hundreds of years. In fact, thought leaders from around the world agree that the current system of education was designed in the industrial age, mainly to churn out factory workers. And this industrial age mentality of mass production and mass control still runs deep in schools designed to train people to do the dehumanizing labor needed on assembly lines. The system designed to prepare people to enter the factory system in the 1930s. They were designed by the people who stood to derive the greatest benefit from them. All day long, students do nothing but follow instructions. Sit down, take out your books, turn to page 30, solve problem number 4, stop talking. The bells that tell you when it's time to eat, regardless of when you're actually hungry. They have to follow strict rules instead of taking charge and making the most of their lives. At school, you're rewarded for doing exactly what you're told. These are industrial age values that were really important for factory workers. And you will spend your whole life doing one thing. The system is sending a dangerous message to our children that they are not in charge of their own lives. They just have to follow whatever is laid down. The modern world values people who can be creative, who can communicate their ideas and collaborate with others. The school system is outdated until they teach sustainability before chemistry, taxes before algebra. Students are going through endless hours of tuitions, staying up all night memorizing useless facts that they will forget very soon. Learning can be much deeper and more authentic. It can be so much more than just memorization and retention. Schools only test your memory. Even if you passed, you forget most of your answers. The memorization of certain facts does not show how intelligent you are. If you do not learn something as fast as the majority, you are considered a failure. We have no measure for how much talent, how much potential goes unrecognized in the current system. Each of us is also different in how we learn, in how much time we take to learn something and what tools and resources work best for us. But the system has no room for such differences. To fail is a part of the process. Keep going. You're supposed to fail. Shit, who you know that gets it right all the time? That's impossible. In school we learn that mistakes are bad, and we are punished for making them. Yet, if you look at the way humans are designed to learn, we learn by making mistakes. We learn to walk by falling down. If we never fell down, we would never walk. People that are scared to make mistakes never grow. But school teaches you to be scared of mistakes. If you're that kind of person, you'll live all your life playing it safe, doing the right things, saving yourself for some event that never happens. Then you die a boring old man.
In the school system, they don't want us to learn about money because they just want to pump out good employees that do what they're told. I mean, if you look at school, it's opposite of what it takes to be successful in real life. Money is one form of power, but what is more powerful is financial education. Money comes and goes, but if you have the education about how money works, you gain power over it and can begin building wealth. Money is freedom. Money does not solve all problems, but money does solve all money problems. If you really understand finance, if you really understand accounting, investing or taxes, you aren't going to be an employee your whole life. Which is exactly the reason why they don't teach it in schools. They teach us to work very hard for little money, clinging to the illusion of job security and looking forward to a three-week vacation each year and maybe a skimpy pension after 45 years of service. How come geometry is mandatory while classes that are much more critical for our future like financial management and understanding taxes? With huge amounts of credit card and student loan debt affecting millions of Americans, it is easy to wonder how we got stuck in this mess to begin with. Many schools consider financial education as the parent's responsibility. Many parents do not know how to correctly manage their own finances, because just like most of us, no one ever taught them how to do it right. Why does nobody want to talk about how the school system set us up to the rat race? We wake up each morning, rush to our jobs, work tirelessly, and save a chunk of our earnings. This ongoing cycle has become the prevailing narrative of our lives. People's lives are forever controlled in the rat race by two emotions, fear and greed. The fear of being without money motivates us to work hard, and then once we get that paycheck, greed or desire starts us thinking about all the wonderful things money can buy. The pattern of get up, go to work, pay bills. This is what I call the rat race. It's fear that keeps most people working at a job. The fear of not paying their bills, the fear of being fired, the fear of not having enough money, and the fear of starting over. How much of my life am I willing to sell to have money in my pocket? How many hours of my life did I invest to have house, car or diploma on the wall? See what this does to your next purchase. If you want to learn to work for money, then stay in school. That is a great place to learn to do that. What is education? Like you're basically downloading data and algorithms into your brain. And it's, it's, it's actually amazingly bad.